Hello, my name's Sue Grant and here's a short sequence showing the Oyster 575 Safia in the beautiful Scilly Isles. We'll take a look at her on deck and below shortly. Okay, so back on the dock, here is Safia. She's from 2016. She's got this wonderful hull livery. It's grau beige and it is a gel coat, so it's not paint, with white style lines and brilliant white superstructure, which just looks amazing. Purposeful CQR anchor there, vertical capstan. double spreader rig, cutter, in-mast furling, all hydraulic, there's a Lumar Commander power pack. She's actually got the Ultra 20 ultrasonic anti-fouling, which keeps her nice and clean. And look at these fabulous vertical windows and large hull windows, which just mean that the light just floods in. She's here in the middle of the season in full cruising trim and she's looking just amazing. Just going to hop on board and walk forward. She's got flush hatches, as you can see. Nice sunbathing area forward, roll top tow rail which looks really great in the colour. The furling forward Genoa and Staysail are by Reckman. She's got dolphin sails including downwind sails and an aluminium painted spa by Formula. On the front of it, you can see there's a spinnaker pole, which is in carbon. The mainsail is also powered. She's got a substantial bimini and spray hood, all weather max. Stainless steel trim, centre boarding gates, lovely wide side decks. And then we're now looking at the transom, gin and tonic seats. Here's her rib, which was replaced 2018. It's a high field CL380 with a 30 horsepower outboard. Main sheet track, well out of the way. And here's her twin steering position. She's got a couple of carbon wheels. Lovely varnish cockpit table, which is refrigerated, of course. And this is just a great place to relax and spend time, whether you're at sea or not. Very easy access in and out of the cockpit. She's got a slight no tunnel bow thruster. And she's running on Raymarine. There you're seeing a E125 slave to the main unit in the nav station. Fusion entertainment. And then down the steps into this amazing main saloon with these lovely vertical windows. Maple interior, teak floors, teak trim and detailing. Lovely practical chart table, crew accommodation, lovely galley. The table does retract, it's not always as big as that. Plenty of room for everyone to eat and a lovely seating area to starboard also. These upper windows let the light flood in and the two front windows are opening as well. And here she has her Raymer in. Control panel. The yacht has lithium iron batteries. She's got AGM for the engine generator start and also the bow thruster. 
and then we're going to have a quick look at the galley. So refrigeration, a spas five burner oven, grill, microwave, twin sink which actually has enough room for a baking tray to go in it, quokka which is absolutely essential equipment, lovely avonite surfaces, extractor, lots going on here and then into the owner's stateroom, large double berth with divided mattress. She's also got this lovely office area with a port light just to starboard of it. Lots of storage, flat screen of course, and then into the heads compartment, the loser electric, separated shower stall, very funky, modern, easy to clean, looks great, plenty of space, heads compartment. I love the detailing, the connection between the sink and the Avonite surface. And now we're going to walk back through this galley, which is very well equipped. And then we'll have a look forward and see what's going on there. We'll start with the VIP cabin. Nice big double. Loads of light. Loads of storage. All the ports have blinds on them and the overheads also have whiteout screens and mosquito nets. Now this is clever because you go into the forward heads from this door with a separated shower, electric loo basin and so on. So if you wish, this can be the heads compartment only for this forward cabin. Then there is an upper and lower, which is spacious and we'll just scope in and have a look and you've got more storage at the forward end as you can see. The boat has cruise air, air conditioning throughout of course. And then we're going to have a look in the heads compartment from the other door. So if you're sailing with a family or more people then it becomes both a day head to serve the other cabins as you wish. And then into the fourth cabin, upper and lower both cabin, Lee Cloth says with everywhere else on the yacht, she's totally spec for blue water. And we'll have a quick look in the engine room. She's got a Volvo D3, it's 150 horsepower turbo. It delivers power to a Brunton Verifold four-bladed propeller. And in front you can see the generator which is an Onan 11 kilowatt. Safia, fantastic, 2016 Oyster 575.